What's good, YouTube? It's your girl, Asia. And it's your boy, BJ. And, and we, we back, back like, like we, we never, never left. left. Yeah, we back for another movie reaction. For movie night. I'm telling you, tonight we are jumping into The Exorcist. Sorry. And, and everybody <laughs> sat here and told us, they like, y'all, y'all got to check out The Exorcist. If y'all already seen The Exorcist of Emily Rose, The Exorcism of Emily Rose. Yeah. Y'all got to keep on going. Y'all need to check out the original The Exorcist. It's a long-awaited, uh, like, reaction, I guess I should say. Y'all have been asking us to do this since, like, day one. Let me scoop my mic up, y'all. Absolutely. But, yeah, y'all been asking for us to do one. this since, like, day one. Since we started doing horror films <laughs> for the month of October, everybody's like, you cannot get out of October right. without doing The Exorcist. Right. Everybody were telling us. I have some, some comments, people sending me like DMs saying, please check out The Exorcist, but please be careful. <laughs> so I think there's like some disclaimers in regards to The Exorcist, in regards to if you got a weak bladder, you might not want to watch this movie. Oh. You, you might wet the bed, going to bed, dreaming about this movie. Man, don't say that. I'm serious. Okay. They said you might wet the bed, you might have bad dreams. Okay. See, we ain't going to stop this now. <laughs> okay, why we ahead? I'm just... <laughs> Y'all know how scary I am. You know, okay, you know, I got I got a handy dandy blanket ready today. You know, a few people had to exaggerate. I got it all ready you know? to go and stuff. Look, be, see, they already, babe, you already trying to take the cover and I'm stuff. I'm you ready, need to move. I'm ready to dive into this one because <laughs> I've been I've been waiting literally like two weeks since October the first, since the first of October. <laughs> everybody's been saying the Exorcist. So. Yeah. Yeah. 1973. Yeah. So make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, smash that notification bell. Y'all head over to Patreon. Check out all of our exclusive content as well as our unedited video uh, videos that we put on YouTube. I always yes. just had like the wrong words to say. The unedited versions of every single movie that we put out on YouTube. Definitely. It's all on Patreon and some, okay? We have some extra movies that we have not yet posted on YouTube, so make sure y'all check it out. Exclusive only for the best, okay? Uh, and shoot. Anybody that we know in here? I have no idea who's in this movie. Okay. Look like a scene from The Lion King with that mm -hmm. sun. Right? Look how red the sky is. The bloody sky. Mm -hmm. Someone singing a prayer. I wonder where they are. Mm -hmm. Northern Iraq. There we are. We spoke too soon. Yeah. Okay, so they're digging. You know, start digging on sacred grounds and stuff. Digging for artifacts. Mm hmm They found something. Uh-oh. Oh, okay. Man, I'm not sticking my hand in there. Right. Just give me a tool. Let me just wiggle the tool up under the floor. I don't even know if I'm going to stick a stick in there. <laughs> something might grab the stick. Oh, look at that. What is it? It looked like a dragon head or something. Yeah, it looked like, like something demonic. Maybe that. Yeah, because it did look like a... It looked kind of crazy. I said that dragon up. head, but uh, but yeah. Like a, like a devilish serpent. Something, yeah. He looks like worried or something. He, he looks worried or... Scared? Scared about maybe what they found? I don't know. Head of the beast. Evil against evil. He's definitely somewhere like in the Holy Land. I wonder, I wonder, like, what his role is, though. I think, I think he's an archaeologist, a historian, That's possibly. Yeah. He taking his stuff back with him. Wherever he going. Oh, uh, I don't know about that. I don't know if he should be doing that. Right. 
Oh, look at that. Mm hmm. Has a head of a beast, but a body of an angel. I don't like that sound. I know. I don't like that. I don't know if that's screaming or what. I know. And then dogs fighting. Oh, Georgetown. Where's that? Where's Georgetown at? Uh, is that Maryland? It's not. Is it? I, I was thinking Pennsylvania. PA? Yeah, something like that. Oh no. Oh, well, that's uh, coming uh, from the attic. Oh, I, I don't care where it's coming from. It's inside the house. Mm -hmm. <laughs> There's some little shuffling. See, this was back in the days when you could sleep with a window open. <laughs> Must be nice. Uh oh, that sound like the Jason music. Mm -hmm. Wait, was it Jason? Michael Myers. It's very, it's very popular. <laughs> I've, I've always heard this. I didn't know that this was. I didn't know that this was in relation to, um, to the Exorcist. I mean, they seem pretty normal, pretty happy for the most part. Right. So far, anyway. Right. Everything seems pretty normal. Who's this guy again? I saw him walking away from the place. I don't know, but... Could you help an old other boy? I'm a Catholic. Oh, he must be somebody. They, they did zoom <laughs> in, okay? Mm -hmm. He's somebody. <laughs> He's somebody. He's a priest. Oh. He must live in a very, very small apartment. As soon as you come through the front door, your bed is right there. Come from? Oh. So right here. <laughs> She's out the closet. You've been playing with it? Yep. You know how? I'll show you. Okay, now that's a dangerous thing. Okay. That's probably one of the most dangerous games you can ever play. Why is she even okay with that? Oh, yeah. It's getting interesting. Hold on. Oh, oh wait, 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 wait. Oh. That's Captain Howdy. I make the questions and he does the answers. They upstairs playing with Captain Howdy. I don't think he Captain Howdy. Yeah, we do not need to be. We don't need nobody <laughs> summoning any spirits through no board. I need reassignment. I want out of this job. It's wrong. It's no good. You're the best we've got. Come on, really. Best got to do what? What are you doing here? My bed was shaking. Uh oh. That's a, that's that's irregular. It's not normal. I hear some rattling though. That don't sound like no rat. Like real talk. Uh-uh. Uh-oh. Uh Somebody need to get like a step stool. Oh gosh, babe. She going up there. Mm -hmm. <sighs> she ain't going up there to go look. I mean, you gotta go look, right? No. No. <laughs> Uh-oh. It's dark too. A candle. Oh man. She's going in the attic. She don't need nothing. She don't need nothing major. Babe, I need a flashlight. She's she over there trying to see if she can find the rats or something. Sound like someone was scratching at the door. It did. Like it wanted to get out the attic. Where's that noise coming from? I don't know, but I'm about to go. That that ain't that's man, no. <gasps> Smells nice. What the f Jesus Christ, Carl, don't do that. No way. No rats. Thanks a lot. That's terrific. <laughs> how, but how he how's he in the attic though? He came up there. And what, just close just close the door? No, he, he just climbed up the stairs. I guess she was just looking around up there. But you saw that flame do that? Mm-hmm. What <laughs> what that came from the candle. Yeah, I saw plane. the plane. Yeah, I did. I saw that. Don't no candle do that. 
<laughs> uh oh, it's about to start getting real now. Oh, somebody vandalized it. They're making all kinds of noise. You're gonna die up there. She peeing on it. Again? Oh my god, honey. I'm sorry, she's been sick. She okay. didn't want you. She did say something about the bed shaking too. Uh oh. That's it was trying to see something like some signs of some irregular irregularity. Possession. That's a little That's irregular. How she acted. She acted like she possessed. See how she's sitting there like that? Something's bothering her. Like she kinda disturbed a little bit. And then the one thing she says is, I'm going to die up there. You're going to die up there. It's just like the doctor said. You just take your pills and you'll be fine, really. I don't know. Something just ain't sitting well with me after she said that. <laughs> oh, look at that. You see that light flickering? Yeah. <laughs> the bed shaking. Okay, yeah, this is starting to get creepy. Dang, no. The bed is shaking. The bed is coming up off the ground. What you mean? She said Sh something, but that was the reason why she was laying in her mom's bed, because she said the bed kept shaking. It was violently shaking, too. Then the light flickering. Oh, no. Baby, the one day that the, the bed starts shaking like that, we out. I'm not asking no questions. We're not calling <laughs> nobody. We're leaving. It has to, be, has to be something with that, um, that Ouija board or something. Yeah, Mr. Howdy. Uh-oh. This is mom. Uh-oh, he like having a dream about her. Oh, uh-oh. Huh? Mm -mm. Oh, she's going back down the subway. He's trying to run after her. Yeah, she definitely. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you kind of zen. That's not something normally that she was doing before that no. either. She wasn't even talking like that. See, I think they think she's having like some type of psychological episodes or something like that. Mm -hmm. I think it's going to go way deeper than that. Type of disturbance in the chemical electrical activity of the brain. It's rare, but it does cause bizarre hallucination. The whole bed was thumping and rising up the floor and shaking the whole thing. The problem with your daughter is not her bed, it's her brain. You must not be listening to what she's saying. No, it's something way, way wrong with her. So they think it's some they think it's something scientific. It's nothing scientific. Mm -mm. They about to do his brain scan and everything. I, I think I think currently right now she's spiritually spiritually displaced right now. Oh. Oh. You see that needle? Did they tell Reagan they was about to do that? Oh. Brave little girl. Who? Oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ooh. Look at it. Squirted all the way down there to the bottom of the bed. Hopefully, this is in the process today. There's nothing there. Mm. No vascular displacement at all. Oh, they don't see anything. It looks normal. Things have gotten worse since I found you. I think you better come upstairs. Mother, please! Oh, no, it isn't. Whoa! Ah! Do something, Doctor, please help her! Oh, my gosh. <gasps> Take it! Oh, snap! Whoa. Oh! The sour is mine! Fuck me! Fuck me! my god look how they look right now there's something Golly. because she probably knows that there ain't, ain't no lesion there's not no lesion it's nothing psychological pathological states can induce abnormal strength well, what's wrong with it we still think the temporal lobe oh what are you talking about for christ's sake <laughs> hey nothing wrong with that girl brain man you're wasting time 
Hey, it was the time and money. Golly. Putting her through all this, trying to figure out, is there something wrong with her brain? In other words, normal. <laughs> he don't know what's wrong with her. Maybe hey. they just can't come to terms with grips to know that it's some type of demonic entity or something that's really like altering her state of mind. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and with them being because some people would be in denial about that. I, with, I probably would be too. If they're if they're doctors, they're not even thinking on a, on a level like spirituality. They right. thinking it's something scientific. Right. Uh oh. Hold on. She don't walk back in the house. That's a negative. With the lights flickering off and on. And see, she don't even think anything about that Ouija board. Oh. Think about the Ouija board. It was the Ouija board. Oh, Lord. Oh, the window's open. Oh, it's cold. Oh, snap. Cut a light on. Cut a light on. Uh-oh. Shit. What the hell do you mean going off and leaving Reagan by yourself? Wait, really? didn't he tell you? Didn't who tell me? Burr. There wasn't anybody here, so when I went to get the Thorazine, I had him stay with her. Hi, Chuck. Come on in. Suppose he heard. Heard what? Burke's dead. He fell down from the top of the steps right outside. Broke his neck. Now look at her face. She yeah. even looked different. Yeah. Yes. Aww. I do not like that look in her eyes. No. I'm speaking to the person inside of Reagan now. Oh, sn Answer me now. Uh oh. Oh, you hear that growl? <laughs> <laughs> look at the man getting back. Who are you? Ooh. Oh! Ah! Oh! Oh man, she grabbed him right where it hurts too. Oh man, this is bad. This is a bad demon. This is a bad demon that really want to hurt people. Mm -hmm. Oh man, I got like the biggest chill. Like when I heard that growl, I got like the biggest chill no, all of a sudden, man. It wasn't that. It was the way she looked at him when she yeah. turned her. <laughs> just like a just just a demonic stare, like yeah. William F. Kinderman, homicide. Father, what do you know on the subject of witchcraft? Burke Dennings was found at the bottom of those steps with his head turned completely around. What? Didn't happen in the fall. It's possible. Man, that's a bad fall. Right? <laughs> that's almost impossible. We, we call it uh, some nambula. Look at those scratches on her face. Look at her lips. It starts with a um, conflict. You can tell like, like she's starting to break down. Look, oh, these are the steps that, that the guy fell down. I think. Oh, okay, I see. Yeah. He, he probably tried to look to see, like, how could he had... How he, how he fell down some stairs and his head turned all the way around 360? Yeah. The strain. The deceased comes to visit, stays only 20 minutes, and leaves all alone a very sick girl. It isn't likely he would fall from a window. Besides, a fall wouldn't do to his neck quite found except maybe one chance in a thousand. No, my hunch, he was killed by a very powerful man and then pushed from your daughter's window. But nobody was in the room except your daughter, so how can this be? See, he said it too. What was that? I, I feel like he got some mention to her that it might have been like some type of powerful, spiritual something that Something powerful. He said a powerful man. Yeah. Oh my God. Give it a cross. Just give it a cross. Oh. Oh. The door closed. This is this is a whole nother level, y'all. Oh no 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 no! Oh no! Oh my gosh! Oh, oh her head! Oh, what she did? Yuck! 
acting daughter. <laughs> Her head turned all the way around. Oh my gosh. Did she survive? I can't, I can't swallow my spit. She was stabbing herself with a cross. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, it got to be like some type of like crazy demon, demonic spirit to be, to have her saying the stuff that she's saying, you know? I'm very sorry. Hello. This demon is raunchy and perverted. Right? Sick. Yes, absolutely. Your friend Father Dyers, right? Yes, I am. About my daughter. How do you go about getting an exorcism? Beg your pardon? Look how she's walking around. You see that on her face? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Possessed by a demon or something. How did they, how did they get an exorcism? Well, it just doesn't happen anymore, Miss McMahon. Yes, that's right. Well, since we learned about mental illness, paranoia, schizophrenia, I've never met one priest who has performed an exorcism. Not one. Think again. Father Karras is my little girl. Then that's all the more reason to forget about exorcism. It could make things worse. Oh, how? You don't understand oh, your daughter. Why can't you help her? Just help her! <laughs> he don't understand. He don't know how... <sighs> I don't even think he know. I don't even think, I don't even think his, his faith is completely strong. The way it should be right now. I mean, this lady is begging for him to help her. He should know. I promise you, it's only going to take a... 10 seconds for him to know, to confirm that she needs an exorcism. Uh-oh. What is she doing now? I don't even recognize her. At all. I'd like to help you. That loosen the straps. I'm afraid you might hurt yourself, Reagan. Let's introduce ourselves. I'm Damien Kelly. Look at Adam Pat. Find the devil. Where's Reagan? In here. With us. With us? Your mother's in here with his parents. Would you like to leave a message? I see that she gets it. <laughs> Look how he looking. Then you must know my mother's maiden name. What is it? What is it? Oh my God. Oh, came out. that was nasty. Oh my God, this is so disturbing. That's, that's disturbing. What? Oh. Did you see that coming out of her mouth? I couldn't even swallow. It, it literally splashed him in his face and his mouth. Oh. Oh man, she needs some help. You tell me you know for a fact that an exorcism wouldn't do any good. You tell me that. I guess he didn't tell her that. I feel her frustration though. Man. Did you know my mother died recently? Yes, I did. I'm very sorry. No. Is Reagan aware of it? Not at all. Why'd you ask? It's not important. Good night. Because she knew. That's why he asked what's my mother's maiden name. Yep. If she just said the maiden name, he'd have been convinced. But he's going to go home and think about it, though. I, I promise you, he's going to think about it. What an excellent day for an exorcism. <sighs> You'd like that? Intense. It would bring us together. You and Reagan. You and us. <laughs> you and us. He said, she said it. Look. Oh. Did you do that? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Say. Billy Dick, do, don't you agree? You speak Latin. Hey, go to absolve. Quad nomen mi yes. La plume de matante. Ah! How long are you planning to stay in Reagan? Until she rots and lies stinking in the earth. What's that? Uh -oh. Holy water. Uh-oh. Oh. Uh -oh. <gasps> it burns! Oh, it burns! So it... Hear that? That must sound like his mama. Jared! That sound like his mama. Oh, oh my gosh. Look at her face. <laughs> he, he walking out the room look, looking dejected. He got to know that she possessed. I'd have ran out the house. You can look at her and tell that. Especially when he starts spraying like the, the little holy water. Doing the cross and everything. Somebody they burn. Okay. Yeah. You need an exorcism. Want a drink? Please. <laughs> he said please. <laughs> Get 
kitchen. No, it's all right. I'll take it straight. He said, just like that. No ice, no chaser. <laughs> English. What do you mean English? It's English in reverse. Listen. Give us time. Letter dog. She ran into the front. Oh, so now they better go back into this room again. But what's wrong, honey? Oh, it says help me. Oh, sh that's the little girl asking for help. Oh, because she's inside. Yeah. She's inside the body somewhere. Yeah. You're convinced that it's genuine? I don't know. You would want to do the exorcism yourself? Yes. Might be best to have a man of experience. I understand you, Excellency. Well, I'll call you as soon as I hold. Thank you, Your Excellency. Oh, did he stick his hand out for a kiss? Mm hmm. How about Lancaster Merritt? I had a notion he was over in Iraq, came back three or four months ago. Don't you think he's too old, huh? How's his health? He's he all right. He's still running around digging up tombs. Oh, you're talking about the guy at the very beginning of the movie. The older, older guy. Okay. Look at her eyes. I know. She's fully possessed at this point. So he can't. I don't even know if they're going to be able to reverse it. I know. I feel like it's not going to work, though. Because she got one, two, three, four, five, at least six six different spirits and demons inside of her right now. He came, though. The guy came. That's him. They come calling. They going to pull up. Look how creepy. Even the house. <laughs> oh. Uh-oh. She senses it. This is my needle. My father married. His father Kevin's here. Oh, there he go. It's an honor to meet you, Father. Uh, he, he must know heater. I'd like you to go quickly across the residence, Damien, to surpluses with purple stone and some holy water. I believe we should begin. Do you want to hear the background of the case first, Father? Why? The demon is a liar. He will like to confuse us, but he will also mix lies with the truth to attack us. So don't listen. Remember that. Don't listen. That's going to be so hard. Come on. Uh-oh. Do he know what he about to walk into, though? Oh, like, is he sure? Please, please. These might not even be the right pillows to be, be, to be can, holding on to right now. I hope they can fix it. Oh, lead the mama outside. She's growling. Uh -oh. Yeah, get that out, please. Stick your c up her ass, you motherfucking. Be silent! <laughs> oh my god. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. But God is my God. Sustains my life as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall. Save your servant who places her trust in thee, my. Why he sent so close, though? I don't know. In the face of the enemy. <laughs> oh, she's gonna bite his head off. Holy Lord, Almighty Father. Oh, look. Who once and for all consigned that fallen tyrant to the flames of hell to crush that roaring lion, case and image and likeness. Oh, my God. Your <laughs> Can you imagine? I know. You to make in your image. Ah! Come on. Amen. Oh. What the hell? That would terrify me. I'm gonna be like, okay, <laughs> Mr. Priest, you on your own. I gotta go. God, the Lord of all creation, power to tramp underfoot 
serpents and scorpions. Oh, look at him. And if you confront this cruel demon. Look at him. Look like old boy in the back about to lose it. Mm -hmm. Mentally. Oh my god. He never seen anything no, like that. No, at all. Oh no, I'm not gonna touch it. Oh no, no. Oh look. It, oh. oh, it's coming out. It's coming out. The Lord be with you. Lord be with you. What what's happening? I just saw all that all, all that green stuff coming out of the mouth. <laughs> oh, it ain't going crazy now. It didn't work? Did it not work? <laughs> Where are you going? <laughs> You out, Christ! No. You flung you, prince of heaven, and the devil, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit, by this sign of the Holy Cross of our Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with the Father and the Holy Spirit. Oh. Damien! <laughs> God! Defender of the. Oh my God! You killed your mother. Your servant. You left her alone. That's why he's talking about. Uh -huh. Don't listen. He's talking about his mom. By the judge of the living and the. Oh snap! The servant of God. Oh, oh no! Oh. Holy water! Oh. It's the power of Christ that compels you. The power of Christ. Oh, you. oh, please don't do nothing. Oh, gosh. The, the power of Christ compels you. Come on. She's going back down. The, the power of Christ compels you. Do not despise my command because you know me to be a sinner. Keep going. Something is happening. Uh -huh. God the Father commands you. Oh, oh God! Yeah. Oh my God! God the Son commands you. God the Holy Spirit. Oh God! The blood of the martyrs commands you. Oh, the window on the blue open. Woo. Oh, it's a damn earthquake! Damn! Damn! It's almost knocked him out. Living and the dead. Oh, I hope she doesn't kill them. I don't know. I think somebody's gonna die by the end of this. That's what I'm saying. Look at him. He can barely get up. She about knocked them out. Look, the lamp, the table's turned upside down. Oh my gosh. Are you tired? Is he all right? I don't know. No, he not all right. I wouldn't be sitting on the bed, though. I think he mentally getting worn down. Uh oh. Oh, he went to a different room. Oh yeah, he was taking it early on. Man, I hope the priests make it. I know. Oh. See, he tripping now. He tripping. This not my mother! mother! Don't listen. Damien! Get out. Yeah, he gotta get out. Yeah, you got to go. She getting to him. Yes. He just need to clear his mind. Like, seriously clear his mind right now because... Uh oh Is she still on the bed? Okay. I hope she on the bed. Is she gonna die? No. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh my God. He didn't make it. What? He got to do it. He got to do it now. Oh my, oh my gosh. gosh. Look. Look. Son of a bitch. <laughs>
still alive. Shh. Out of all the sins of your past life, he wrote to himself no longer to is that the guy from the church? Is that the pastor from the church, the priest? I don't know. I, the I, guy that he went to talk to that said he was going to call the guy that was gone overseas or wherever he was in Iraq? I, I don't know. Very possible. I think he knows him, obviously. Reagan, come on, honey. We have to get going. Oh, there he is. That was the guy that was holding uh, DME's hand when he was laying on the ground. She doesn't remember any of it. That's good. All done. Goodbye, Father. Goodbye. Oh, goodness. I thought you'd like to keep this. Was intense. You talking intense? I feel drained for some reason. Literally, right? Like I, I'm gonna feel emotionally drained. Like I don't feel like I feel like my intense. like my energy level have got brought down to a degree. Just, just that whole exorcism, like going through those like those last thirty minutes of watching this movie, I almost felt like how the priest feel now. Like where you just feel like. You just feel drained for some reason. Okay. I feel disturbed and I feel drained. Definitely that. But this was like beyond disturbing. It was definitely well well worth the wait to watch this one. Yeah. You know, we watched The Exorcism of Emily Rose. I just feel like this right here was, was just on another level, especially with this being in 1973. I could just imagine this being like probably like the only or primarily the only like exorcism type of like movie out. Yeah. So this movie right here, I feel like it's paramount in regards to exorcism movies. Like yeah, but the this fact is the is, this is the one. It's based off of a true story is probably like really kind of what puts like the emphasis on it being yeah, exactly the that. icing on the cake. <laughs> yeah, like but this to me takes it to a different level. Like you get to see like and I thought, because in the exorcism of, of Emily, you know, and the other one was The Conjuring, too. We got a little, like, a little piece of yeah. watching, like, the whole exorcism because the mom was possessed as well. Right. Man, it, man, exorcism stuff, y'all, is not. Yeah, it's a whole, it, it, it's a completely whole, whole other level. It, it's, it, it's beyond scary. It's, it's beyond horrifying. Like, when I say, like, disturbed, like, you feel physically disturbed. Yeah. Mentally disturbed. Mm-hmm spiritually disturbed it's just like whoa like this is like a whole nother level just to see like the progression again we saw like the progression of the infestation and then you see the the actual full possession yeah and, and, and we saw like that whole level i wonder like if the mom um at for <clears throat> at one time just thought that maybe it has something to do with that ouija board i think it did because you you remember specifically when we was watching that and she said something about that's what invited it. Right. And then and then she said she did something with the Ouija board and that it thing just went jumped. to her, it, it like went right into her hand. She never closed it out either. I don't right. know. If yeah. they were sitting there like, I thought you something with the Ouija board. Don't you got to say <laughs> bye or something? Well, yeah, there's a way that you kinda you can open the portal, mm -hmm. but at the same time you gotta close the portal. Man, that's a perfect if you leave example. It open. Yeah, no. No, that's the perfect <laughs> it, perfect example of what will happen if you play with those Ouija boards, y'all. That's exactly why like I've yes. never ever been a fan of like I'm just not a fan of the Ouija board. I don't want to play, you know. Uh, this is not as good as it gets, right? <laughs> I, I, I told y'all before that, you know, at my grandmother's house at the bottom of this little dresser, they always had this Ouija board that was always in there. It was just a Ouija board. I'm like, why is there a Ouija board in my grandmama's house? And it just sits there. That is so creepy. Right, it is. And we will, and I would walk by it, and it would just always just sit there. And you just look at it like, it's, it, it, like, it, like it almost had like a magnetic feel to it. Like, uh -uh. like when you walk by, you look at it. It's just like something drawing you to look at it. No like, way, man. I'm like, no, I'm not gonna touch it. <laughs> I'm gonna keep going. I'm, I, I put that on everything. Uh, but, but yeah, like my last comment, just in regards, you know, just about the movie. Like when DME, like you know, he he like went overboard and he started like punching a girl. Yeah, well, he wasn't even punching the girl, but he was punching the demon. He was fighting the trying demon. Trying to get it to get into him. He's yeah. like, take me, take me. That's what he's trying and, to and do. And it worked in the end. It did work. I'm just like, shoot, if he had to do all of that, like, obviously he didn't want to do that from the jump, but I don't know, like, maybe the possession in him was what made himself jump out the window, because obviously I don't think he would have done that. Yeah, yeah I think, psycho like you said, psychologically, he, he got to that point. Like, it took him over the brink 
Well, I think when he saw that the that the, the other priest was had passed away, right, and then he just went, he just went he went stupid, he went crazy. Him, yeah, it just took him to a whole different level. He like, went into like a complete rage. He started punching her and everything, right, right. and then from there, that that the transference of the demon or the possession just went straight into him. Yeah, maybe because he was at an all time as far as like his emotions and mm-hmm. everything, and then and then that was like the perfect opportunity. I it guess you can say too much. to transfer. Um, you know, to transfer the demon or yeah. transfer the possession yeah. from her to him. Mm. And then he ended it. Right. Supposedly, I guess. Whew. Yeah. That's that's how I feel. <laughs> I know. I just take just, you just gotta excel, but yeah, this was like completely well worth it. Watching Absolutely. the exorcism. Yes. I can see why. Yeah. This is definitely gonna be so a horror thing. classic movie for is sure. Is there a part two to this? Because there's so many of them, yeah. There's oh, more. okay, okay. Yeah, there's like a handful of them, so I'm not really sure like what order it it goes in. It's, All still it, to do with this? Just exorcism, just okay. Just like maybe like a continuation, maybe other stories. I'm Pro- not, not, I'm not the same sure. girl though. I don't know. Okay, I'm not really sure. Oh god, that's a good question. I hope I hope it's not. That I would be it, so bad. Yeah. I mean, you're talking about the sweetest girl of of babies, okay? <sighs> like she just looks like the best daughter <laughs> anybody could ask for, and that happened to her. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It's just an uh, um, unfortunate thing. She had all those doctors there, and all of them, no one knew what to do except the one doctor that just kind of threw the one thing out, and it right. just sounded so far fetched. And, and that was actually what it really was. Exactly. Yeah. But this definitely goes down as a horror classic. I'm glad Absolutely. everybody suggested this one. Yeah. Everybody's going to be waiting <laughs> for us to do this one. Yeah. So I'm glad that we got through it. Say. I'm glad that we got through it. So. Uh, at this point, before we even go to bed, let, let's let's go watch like a Disney movie. <laughs> okay, for real. <laughs> <laughs> I need something to pick my spirits up. I need something up. to make me happy. Yeah, right about I now. need some. I need something too. Yeah. Can yeah, I have so, a hug after this? Yeah, baby. Yeah, I need a hug. <laughs> I need a hug. Yeah. <laughs> if y'all enjoyed this video, be sure you give us a big thumbs up, like, comment, and subscribe. Smash that notification bell. Join the real family, for y'all. Sure. And if ain't nobody else told you, I love you, and we're gonna see y'all in the next video y'all peace and blessings bye